Welcome back to another video guys. In today's one, it's a late afternoon, sun just going down. We're gonna talk a little bit a little bit about rods, wait, rods, reels, and maybe terminal tackle, I don't know. Um, okay, but anyway, let's get into the video. In today's one I'm gonna talk about rods, right? This is a rod, you guys wait, it's an old reel and I'm just gonna quickly take it off. Okay, this is a rod. Shimano, wait, uh, Shimano Scimitar Graphite, you guys have not seen this rod in my videos, and that is because, right there, this is just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you guys, okay, now right there, you guys can see that the tip is broken off, right, and there's a glass tip that's missing, okay, so what happened was I dropped this rod, and now I'm no longer able to fish with it, Till I fix it now it's I've got another rod here you guys have seen this one I think this was my sister uses oh, I don't think you guys would dropped it as well now this rod has also been driven over by a car so that's what that used to look like wait that's what it used to look like that's what it looks like now okay so what I'm trying to say here is a good thing to do would be to check all your guys rods um, cracked eyes broken tips everything while you still have the time I know that's what I've been doing I have a dam right behind me don't think you guys can see that but uh, anyway yeah there you can there's the water okay anyway like I was saying um, I'm gonna show you why you need to check it often this rod right there on the second eye there we go, you guys can see it. See that see that little crack there? Wait. See if you guys can see it. Wait. Uh, you guys can't see it, but anyway, there's a crack right there. And I'm going to show you what happens when your line... If you don't check your rods and reels often, what happens? I've got some, what, 10, 12 pound line here. I'm just going to run it on here and show you guys what happens. When your line runs on a chip or a crack okay look there I'm gonna have to edit that out. okay camera file there anyway I dropped the rod on it okay right there do you see that that is frayed line okay you see that that's from running I've lost lots of big fish from this right here I would be fishing and then I'd set the hook just set it and the line would cut it would break so I have recently found out that there's a chip in my eye so right now what you guys can do during this time this quarantine lockdown whatever you want to call this you can check all your rods and reels for cracks um, anything like let me just show you there's that frayed line right there watch what happens you see that just broke okay now that's what happens when you don't check your rods often and you have broken eyes crack tips um, another thing you can check is let me just show you if I can find it um, right there one of my guides right there all around is cracked now I don't know if that rust will, water will probably get in there and rust it and then I'll have to replace it after some time but this is my rod, you guys see me use in every video, I've got a little bit of crankbait tied on there. Now this rod there is nothing wrong with it. I have dropped it a couple of times, but it has held up. Pretty happy with that, Stawa rods, Stawa crossfire. Now, let's go over reels, okay, reels. This, I'm not sure what make of reel this is, but I don't know which handles it's, this one, there we go. This handle is bent. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can. Look at that. See how it's bent? It goes further down this way. It's bent there. I set the hook too hard. And then... See that silver right there? That's where I bent it. Okay, now it's bent all the way down. Now you can bend the handles back or you can buy replacements. Now, sometimes you can bend them back. Sometimes you can't. But the times you do bend them back... Um, 
it might not always work or it could break or something like that that's happened to me so that's why I'm saying it another thing is I don't know if you guys have ever seen a reel like this but this is a really really old this is one of my first bait casters right here not this exact model but the one I had had a switch right here for I think pitching and flipping I'm not sure but it's a really really old model as you can see there Daiwa as well this is a 5 1 to 1 gear ratio really old reel um, Okay, now I'm going to show you something. A lot of times with bay casters, after a long time of heavy duty and not um, not uh, servicing them, not servicing them, you get, look at that, rolling in, and the, it's staying right there, but it stays right there. But if I move it, it goes. Now that is from your worm, something wrong with your worm which you can get that replaced, I know I replaced on two or three reels of mine and that is a really old reel and I replaced them, now I would suggest checking them often get some of your reels that you think all together which you think you need a service or something like that another thing is your caps on your reel, sometimes they do fall off, mine has lots of times so that's what you can check, let me just show you guys, I've got a really old Shimano Bantam here, Chris Fire, I don't even use this reel anymore, but anyway, see what happened was the cap, the cap, I don't know what happened but it broke, and the pull fell, or that little teeth thingy, that runs between the teeth fell out, and I lost it, now, check your reels guys, check your rods, look for anything that can be fixed during this time, I know that's what I did, I checked every rod, with the rod, one thing I forgot to say, with the rods, when you check the guides, you can use an earbud and a lot of the times, a if there's like a hairline crack or a small crack, the cotton bud will get stuck in there, but with this crack it didn't, so I would go and check each eye, specifically, right, each eye, because sometimes eyes can be, look at that, eyes bent right there, so... Also check that on your rods. Another thing is um, check your tips. That tip's gone. But anyway, you can repair them. There is ways to repair them. And um, check your terminal tackle. Sort it out. Um, I'm not going to show you how to clean my rods and reels because there is a video that I like. And it's why the mosquitoes. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'm at a dam. Anyway, the mosquitoes. Anyway. Okay. So, like I was saying, um, check your terminal tackle, it's rust, let me show you what I mean by rust, if you haven't, if you're a beginner, haven't seen what rust on the hook looks like, okay, this is just an example of one of my live bait hooks, it's a circle hook, just, I just got this for an example, I'm going to throw it away, look at that, you guys see how rusted that is, yep, uh, okay, Another example is, let me show you, another example, but on this hook, the tip is rusted away. Now, you can't really use that hook if it's, rip, if it's rusted away, but check your tackle, organize your tackle, and um, check your rods, the line, I always check my line, because sometimes if you do get certain chemicals on your line, it can break this I think this is old line of mine that I just took it off because wasn't much of it left on my reel but anyway thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe and if this video was helpful for you guys or if it helped you leave a comment in the description one more thing I'm gonna leave a link to a youtuber I like that showed me how to clean my gear properly uh, Bastion Sasha, Sashka, I tried to say your name, dude. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Like and subscribe. See you guys later.